I'm willing to bet that most of you have seen this code before and probably have no idea what it actually does. So in this short video, I'm gonna break that down. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get rid of this to begin because in order to understand its use case, we need to have a look at some sample Python code. So look here, I have this calculator.py file. Now this is a file that I might directly run myself. And if I wanna do that, I can press run. And you can see that it says, this is a simple calculator. I can enter some numbers and then I get the sum and the difference of those values. Very simple and something that you've probably written many times before. This is great and it contains some functions. Now these functions are things that are reusable, right? And we may actually wanna reuse them in some other Python code. So for example, I may have another Python program, let's call it program.py, and we may wanna reuse some of the logic in our calculator program. So rather than copying and pasting these functions over, we simply import this Python module, which is called calculator, and then we can utilize the functions like dot add, dot subtract inside of this Python script. But watch what happens when I run this Python code. I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and you'll see that it starts by saying this is a simple calculator. Now, that's not what that said in this script. This script says using the calculator module. That's kind of weird, and it's asking me to enter a number, but that's not inside of this script. Now, let's just go through it, and notice that after it gives us the result, it then says using the calculator module and gives us all of this output. In fact, what happened here is we started by running all of the code that was inside of this calculator module, and then we ran all of the code that was inside of this program module. Now, the reason that happened is because whenever you import something in Python, you run the entire Python module. You start by executing the entire thing and anything that's in the main line of the program, so stuff like the print statements, will be ran, even if that's not what you intended to do. So this is exactly where the if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore comes in. This is a convention that allows you to control when code is executed. So I'm gonna add it here and you're gonna immediately see how it works. Okay, so let's type this correctly and I will break down what these variables mean. Okay, so you can see that I have if name is equal to main with the double underscores. And by the way, this is sometimes referred to as a dunder, so dunder name or dunder main, which means double underscore name, double underscore main. And when you do this, what's gonna happen is this code will now only execute if this module is ran directly, not if it is imported. So let me show you what I mean now. If I go and I run my calculator.py file, you can see that this works and it runs. But if I run my program.py file, it no longer runs this code, it just runs whatever's directly inside of program. Now the reason for that is because of this variable right here called name. Now name is going to be equal to dunder name if you directly execute this file. So if you run this Python file itself. If you do not directly run this Python file, let's have a look at what this is equal to by simply printing it out. So let's go here and let's print underscore underscore name, underscore underscore. Okay, so we're gonna start by running calculator, python calculator.py, okay, it's equal to main. Now we'll say python program.py, okay. And why is this not working? Oh, that's because it's in the <laughs> line here. Okay, so python program.py, and you can see that it's equal to calculator, which is the name of the module. So if something has been imported, then the name variable within that script will be equal to whatever the name of the module is. Whereas if you run it directly, then it will be equal to underscore underscore main. So that's literally it. That's why you use this if underscore underscore name convention, because a lot of times you write code in a module that you only want to execute if that module is ran directly. You don't want it to execute if you're importing this code from another module. So you use this convention, and obviously if there's something you always want to run, then you don't put it inside of this if statement. This is a good habit to get into and definitely something you could be asked in a Python interview, so make sure you understand it. So that is almost it, but I do want to let you know that I have a completely free coding newsletter that you can sign up for from the link in the description. I'll send you coding challenges, solutions to those challenges, cool project ideas, inspiring stories, etc. And I'll even give you a free guide on how to make money from coding, which breaks down 14 practical ways to do that, again, from the link below. If you are interested in any private mentorship from me, then I do have a program called DevLaunch. I have two spots available right now. So if you'd like to apply for DevLaunch, you can go to the link in the description, training.techwithtim.net, fill in a quick form, and we'll see if you're a good fit. And if I 
I can help you out, someone from my team will reach out to you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.